Guys, moving on, we got the uh, second, uh, you know, two-pack that we're going to review for Maximum Carnage. Uh, I figured why not go with the, the, you know, the man himself, Spider-Man, you know, the two we already did, the one title character, and it's really, it's a Spider-Man. Takes place in all his comics, he's the main hero. Uh, so, let's do him next. Uh, he comes with Black Cat, apparently Marvel's Black Cat, I don't know, there must be other Black Cats out there. Uh, and then this one comes with, you know, we're on our way to building Shriek. This one uh, comes with the head, which is actually going to come in handy for a shot so it can move on uh, through the series, the Maximum Carnage series. We're going to use that head before we even have the rest of the body for a shot. Uh, that actually comes close to after the shots we did last night. So hopefully today goes as good as the last one because, man, last night uh, those shots that I got done turned out way better than I thought, I thought it would. Uh, you know, I shot that video. I had that uh, paneled shot. I had that all worked out. And it turned out completely different. Sometimes you just got to let the grind take you where, you know, what's going to look best. And, and, you know, that shot, that what I had in my mind's eye is nothing like what turned out. But it turned out ten times better than, than uh, you know, what I what I wanted. So that's good. Uh, check that out. That's in the Maximum Carnage, the, the actual Carnage and Doppelganger review. Uh, there's a paneled shot. It just didn't, it turned out really well. So, and there's four other setups on that video. So go ahead and, and check that out. So hopefully today's goes just as good. I got some. I got plenty of panels uh, uh, picked out. Uh, this may be another four or five, possibly more, since we have Spider-Man. Uh, you know, behind the scenes and stuff. We'll see what happens. So, anyways, yeah, let's take them out. Let's look at them in the actual tray. So here we have our tray shot. Uh, this. The other absolutely awesome part about this this uh, two pack is we got a new gun. It's a Sonic gun from the actual Maximum Carnage series. Uh, back in March, I did a shot, a panel shot with uh, with uh, Spider Man with a Sonic gun. But this is actually more comic accurate than the uh, one that I used last time on a different shot. So yeah, cool to have that an actual comic accurate gun. And then the most exciting part. We get the Thwip hands. If you look, there's the little hands for uh, Spider-Man doing his, his uh, you know, throwing his spider web out of his wrists. Um, that is brand new. Uh, honestly, Diamond Select, one of the things I wish they would do is give us more web, uh, you know, um, accessories. You know, Spider-Man has a web shield that he uses sometimes. That's actually in Maximum Carnage. Uh, there is a Spider-Man out there with a backpack, webbing backpack. It would be nice to have updated version of that um you know the old one's pretty awesome but uh the i the way they make mini mates nowadays a new one could be updated and look way better uh but anyways um yeah let's get them out of that tree so yeah we got spider-man here um i mean just look at you know his knees that you know the knees the shin uh the quad area and then all that detail on his torso uh this I say it just about every time I get a new Spider-Man. Um, this is probably going to be my favorite Spider-Man. I am noticing a QC issue now that I look at mine. Uh, I'm kind of curious if any of you other guys that have them, I know a couple viewers already have them, look at your Spider-Man head and see if the spider web is centered between his eyes because mine's way off. You know, I'll buy another one uh, if I have to with that, <laughs> that head being off because it's such a great version of Spider-Man. But... Uh, yeah, it's his eyes are not centered to the spider web. That's that that makes me curious uh, if anybody else had that issue. Uh, but otherwise, he looks great. You know, there's tons of detail on him. Again, I don't I don't think I've ever seen that gun. I don't have every mini mate. Maybe there's a Star Trek one that has that gun, but I doubt it. But uh, you know, that's that's pretty accurate to the comics. I mean, I I would I should I mean it looks a lot like it, but I should really compare it just to see how much uh, alike they actually are. Yeah, so the back, I mean, you look at the back, there's some issues too. Man, I'm really curious. I'm going to have to go on Facebook and Insta or something and just see if other people are have, have the same issue or else if I just got a, a head that, uh, you know, just wasn't produced right. So, yeah, uh, and then we get the Thwip hands, which is exciting that they finally made a mold for it and everything. But <laughs> there's two issues with those with, with the hands. The, the red is actually a lot brighter than... The red on his costume, the color match isn't exactly the greatest there. And then I this this issue I do know that other people had uh, the pegs for one of the hands is is too big, which that's not a big deal. I can shave that down, slide it in there pretty easily. But um, 
yeah, the other one I got in there just fine. But yeah, they just they're just get some sandpaper or something like that, or take a utility knife and and just shave it off a little bit. There is potential with these hands though for other uh, you know mini made stuff. You know, it'd be fun to have uh, have like a Muppet shot with their band playing, and him you know rocking out with the or or make these get these in a flesh color. You know, maybe I will buy another Spider Man just to paint a couple of these flesh colored so it looks like you're you no know, head banging at a concert and stuff. So. But, um, yeah, overall, you know, it's a, it's a great mini mate. Uh, the QC issues kind of stink, but you know, what, what do you do? I guess buy another one or something. Uh, and then there's black cat. She looks really good. Um, they, they have been doing this kind of thing with diamond select has with their hair. I noticed it on Thor. It's kind of like to give it a black wash before they paint it. So it gives it more of a textured look. Uh, this is just, th this is a great idea. And I think, I can't tell if her cuffs have it too, you know, those, those furry cuffs, but her hair, it really, uh, helps that hair pop on lighter haired, uh, figures and stuff. Having that, you know, black wash and all the, the, um, you know, all the crevices and stuff like that. So, uh, it's a great looking mini mate. You know, it's like the third one we got. Uh, the only other thing that I would even complain about, which what, you know, it's such a, it's such a dumb complaint. I'm reading the comic, you know, I only got like two issues left. And she does not smile like that through most of that comic. She's actually pretty angry through most of the comic, uh, almost the whole thing. So it's just kind of a little nitpicky, stupid thing that I'm just kind of saying. So, but whatever, you know, she looks good. Uh, she looks like Black Cat. Everything else looks great. Uh, so anyways, got some setups planned out. Uh, this first one, actually, we're going to use a Shriek head. Um, you know, it's just awesome because there's a shot that I got to do that comes right after the shots we did last night, chronological order of the comic. And, you know, I, you know how long am I going to have to wait to do those with the setup being fresh? Um, so, you know, I'll be able to do it now. So we don't need the rest of her body parts for that. So let's take a look at that setup. So the first shot's going to be pretty simple. Uh, it's just her in that straight jacket that I love so much in Carnage uh, talking to her. This was straight out of the movies. Or straight out of the movie, straight out of the comic. Uh, this is how they met. It, you know, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of weird stuff in that in that comic that just like it's such a '90s thing. A lot of the writing is not very very good. Uh, I still love it, um, but uh, not the best writing, not the best the, the the story. There's not really much story there except for Carnage is just wreaking havoc in New York, and Spider-Man and friends have to stop him. So, but yeah, this kind of feels essential to. The comic book or whatever or yeah to the to the series that you got to have these two uh meeting for you know meeting because the, she's such a big player in it and they you know she's the first one he teams up with so anyways yeah that's the first shot let's move on to uh the next one so this one really took off um yeah like i expected this to be kind of neat you know whatever but uh just all the d little details thrown into this one i really like i gotta get a little bit more light back on uh Spider-Man, but uh, this happens also in the comic. Um, it's kind of based on a shot, actually, that is Black Hat pulling on her boot. Spider-Man comes to to recruit her to stop Carnage, and yeah, this is pretty much a scene straight out of the uh, you know comic book or whatever. So yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, this bed here is Playmobil. Um, that mirror on the back wall is actually from Michael's the Lego bottle. Uh, it's obviously a Lego bottle. There's a book there that's Playmobil, and then the chair is Playmobil. Uh, and then the dial was made actually by Chris Lyons. Uh, he's on Instagram. He's a friend, a long time mini make collector. He's kind of out of it now, but he's a great dial maker. So this is one of his. I think this is a pretty old piece of his. Uh, but yeah, so straight out of the comic, that's where everything comes from. I don't know where that pink dresser comes from. Actually, I got that with a lot of stuff, but uh, that I bought from a, another friend. But uh, yeah. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So we've got our two title characters. We've got Spider-Man and, and Carnage. Uh, Spider-Man is web-slinging and Carnage has cut his, uh, his webbing, <clears throat> you know, as he's, as he's swinging through the sky. Uh, there is another shot, actually, it's a, this is based on a panel out of the comic where Spider-Man has a web shield and, and, uh, Carnage cuts it apart or whatever with his axe. Um, but it's pretty much on the same thing, uh, corner of a rooftop, uh, you know, with, with Spider-Man in a different pose, but, uh, this just kind of seemed like more fun, 
uh, you know, to have him swinging and, and Carnage cutting his ropes. So, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty cool shot. Uh, pretty happy with it. So, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do maybe a couple more uh, shots with Spider Man or uh, Black Hat. So, here we have our final shot for this video. <clears throat> uh, Maximum Carnage is. You know, all about the uh, carnage. You know, the, the, they go on a rampage. There's riots throughout the city. Um, and then this is kind of based on another panel from that series where uh, Black Cat is, is, you know, drop kicking somebody, you know, um, and then Spider Man's fighting off two guys or, or whatever. Uh, and then I just filled in the blank with some other guys. A rider in the back stealing, is stealing a computer mo monitor. Um, yeah, so another cool carnage, uh, kind of a, you know, there's a lot going on here. There's, um, yeah, carnage, you know, mayhem, whatever. Uh, and then Black Cat's actually elevated on a wire to kick this dude. And then, uh, this one that Spider-Man's lifting up has a, uh, um, what do you call it, stand, flight stand. So what we want to do is get an angle on, uh, on it to where, uh, you can't see their stand. Uh, looks like Spider-Man's actually picking somebody up. Looks like she's actually flying through the air. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a fun one. Uh, turned out better than I thought. Uh, so, anyways, stick around to the end. I'll uh, put up all the shots that we did. You know, in the uh, uh, you know up as as a slideshow at the end. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Stick around. We'll have more videos coming over the next couple days, and some more Maximum Carnage. Uh, you know mini made shots so see you at the next video bye now